Hello everyone, welcome back, hope you're all well. In today's video, we have another PS5, which has a no power issue. For your Xbox and PlayStation repairs, visit consoletherapy.com. So as I say, when we plug this PS5 in and push the power button, absolutely nothing happens as the power and eject button absolutely nothing at all all right shall we see if this one has already been opened let's have a look yes it has no warranty label right so first things first let's get this top cover off and then we can get down to the motherboard and we can do what we usually do is check for some power on the motherboard Right, with the casing taken off, let's do some testing for some voltages. Let's just get our multimeter up on the screen. There we go. Let's pop in some power and then we'll come in with our probes. So black probe anywhere on ground and we'll do our usual. We'll buzz around at the top here. The top transistor should be 5.5 volts. Sorry, five volts, I should say. Yep, a uh, first top leg of the third transistor down should be 3.3 volts. Oh, no, we haven't got 3.3. So there you go, that's going to be an issue. Uh, let's just quickly buzz around here, either side of F7002, that should be 5 volts either side. Do we get that? Get it that side, yep. Yep, get it that side, good. Down here, we should get some voltage output from here, which we don't. So we're not getting any voltage output from this circuit down here. Okay, so we're getting five volts, right? But we're not getting 3.3 anywhere or any one volts. So, I'm not going to kind of mess around. What I want to do is just get the motherboard out uh, and to have a look on the other side of the motherboard to see if there's any blown components and we'll do a proper visual inspection of the actual motherboard. Right, with the motherboard out, we can have a proper look to see what is going on. What I've noticed immediately is there's a lot of flux on the board already. So... Uh, this has gone to a re repair shop previously um, before it came to us um, and it looks like there's been quite a few components already being replaced and now that does cause a bit of a problem but we will see what we can do right so if you look around here I don't know if you can see it on the camera you'll see it under the microscope but around the HDMI retimer that's already been replaced the HDMI port is melted around this circuit. There's a load of flux already. There looks to be flux by the south bridge, but that might be just be flux that's run from that circuit there, where they've tried to replace a couple of components there. And then on the underside of the motherboard, over here, this circuit here, which is why we was getting no voltage, um, I believe a couple of those capacitors have been replaced. Just looking at these top row capacitors, they've been replaced already. So I don't know what else has been replaced, but they're the ones that just jump out at me first of all. As you can see, there's so much flux around here, definitely around here. So what I think our plan of action will be, right? first of all, let's just quickly pop our multimeter into continuity mode 
and just see if we've got any shorts that jump out at us immediately. Right, so continuity is the mode that simply beeps when you push the probes together, like so. Uh, we'll check through these fuses quickly. So this one is F5401. That's good. F5402. That's good. F7003. That is bad. Let's just make sure we're getting a good reading. Yeah, that's bad. All right, so that fuse is blown and it's probably blown because I think that IC there has been replaced, that power regulator, but we'll have a quick check of that. Right, let's um, continue round the board. Let's just check our main. So that shouldn't be shorting, though. No, that's not good because that's the five volt rail. Um, we'll quickly check down here. Nope, no shorts there, which is good. That should be a short that side. That's interesting. There we go, the short's gone, good. That's just discharging the capacitor. So no shorts there or unexpected shorts around there. Let's just check behind the Wi-Fi IC. One side of these caps will beep, the others won't. So Wi-Fi IC seems good. It's only beeping on one side of the caps. Let's just check these pins along here. None of those beep, which is good as well. Right. I think what I'm going to do, right, I just need to kind of reset this a little bit. Let's get under the microscope and I'll show you first of all what I mean about the uh, retimer IC uh, and the circuits over here. And look, I've just noticed this as well. Can everyone see that? I don't know if you can. Over here, we've got a free diode. So there's actually a diode. <laughs> Looks to be a diode left on the motherboard from whatever work they've done. We'll have a look at that under the microscope. All right, let's get under the microscope. Right, so here we are under the microscope. So obviously there's been quite a bit of work done to this board. So we need to kind of try and unpick what the work that's already been done to try and find our issue. So as you can see there on the HDMI port that is melted. You can see a load of flux around this HDMI retimer IC. If we go across to the right hand side, we eventually get to our south bridge and there's our free diode that I showed you earlier. Don't know where that diode's from, but we need to check that out. Not sure if the south bridge has been replaced. It looks like there's some flux around it, but just down here by this power regulator, there is quite a bit more flux. So that I see has definitely been replaced and it might have just been the flux running down by the Southbridge IC, that's why there's a residue flux there, so that might not have actually been replaced. Let's have a look down here by the SSD controller. So it doesn't look like that's been replaced at all, which is good. And then just checking these circuits around here. And it's really just about doing a visual inspection to see if anything jumps out. Don't see anything. Apart from obviously where someone has already replaced those components. If we flip the board round, I did notice here, this is on the top side of the board or the bottom side of the board um, when you have it opened is the power regulator for the SSD. That's definitely been replaced or worked on. This capacitor up here has definitely been replaced. So I'm not sure why that is. The problem is, is once someone else has replaced the ICs, it's difficult for me to put any kind of warranty on the board because 
I didn't replace the ICs. So what I like to do is get them all replaced. So I'll be going around anyhow and replacing all of these ICs that looks like they've already been replaced, like this HDMI retimer, and checking them over properly. Um, but first, down here, it was F7003, that fuse is gone. Now that's obviously blown for a reason, right? So replacing that's not gonna fix it. But from a diagnostics point of view, what's probably best is if we replace the fuse, don't apply any power to the motherboard, and then uh, continue our diagnostics, because then at least we will be able to try and trace the issue. Just gonna double check that it was that fuse, I think it was. Some double zero three, yeah. All right, so that fuse is definitely gone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace that. And see if that makes our life easier from a diagnostics point of view. Because when we do, we might have to do some voltage injection later. Um, and then at least that will help us with the voltage injection. Because obviously it needs a continuous path all the way through the board. So let me get that replaced first of all. So curiosity got the better of me. And after replacing that fuse, I popped in some power and I checked the voltage. So multimeter is in DC mode and this top transistor here has our five volts. And now this bottom one here has our 3.3, like what it should have, which is brilliant news. However, there's still an issue, uh, which is um, when uh, the console's powered up, there's a lot of static on the display. And I mean, a lot of static, like the image is very, very corrupted. Now that actually might be an APU issue, right? But um, I don't want to power it up now because that amount of static could actually have caused that fuse to blow, right? Maybe, not sure, um, but I'm not going to power it up. Just again, just, just, to, just in case. Uh, but what I am going to do is replace the HDMI retimer IC. So I'll get that replaced. Um, as I say, the one that's on there, I can't warranty anyhow, so I need to replace it anyhow if I get it working. So let's get that HDMI IC replaced. Right, so that is the HDMI retimer IC replaced. Uh, I will give everything a good test. Now, what I am going to do as well is where there has been some components replaced, like I think it was a cap up here uh, from the uh, this power circuit was replaced. Um, there's some flux around the south bridge on the other side of the board here by the SSD controller power unit, a power supply I should say, there was a uh, capacitor replaced as well. So I'm just gonna go around and just double check to make sure that those circuits are good and all the soldering is good. Uh, and then what we will do is get the board reinstalled and give everything a test. Right, there we go, everything put back together. And I'm gonna power it on just to show you it working. Full disclaimer, I have already powered this on and it has worked. So there we go. Pushing the power button, we get the blue lights down here and it starts to boot. And then we can see on the screen that we have video output. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching the video. Really do appreciate your view. 
so in this video, what we did, we ended up replacing the HDMI retimer, which uh, was causing an issue and we replaced that fuse. Whoever tried to repair the PS5 before us, um, obviously changed a few other components along the board. I've gone through all of those and just double checked uh, everything. But now I'm, at least I know that the uh, retimer is a brand new retimer um, and it's fully tested by console therapy so we can warranty the console. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for your view. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It really does help us out and we are releasing videos every week now. So please consider subscribing. It's a couple of clicks for you and it really does help us out. So thanks very much. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.